What is up, y'all? I know we got a different view. I done changed my room around. I, I got my, my all of my computers sitting over in the corner. Two curtains in one. It is what it is. I don't even need a background. Let's focus and look at me and talk about this. Okay. So I had been seeing Sam Smith and his Michael Jackson mess go down my timeline. I was like, okay, so he said he didn't like Michael Jackson. Okay, whatever. Y'all probably about to be mad at me for what I'm about to say, but I don't see the, the what's wrong with Sam Smith saying he don't like Michael Jackson. And then, okay, if you really want to say Sam Smith doesn't have a right to dislike Michael Jackson, he's trying to beat, then I know what was the, oh man, one of the singles had came out and sprayed him and said that how could you not like him and you try to appropriate everything that he did? I don't think Sam Smith is trying to be like Michael Jackson. Sam Smith is kind of boring if you ask me. Michael Jackson is one of the greatest entertainers of all times. So I'm not understanding where y'all getting that narrative from. Oh, you do you don't have a right to dislike him or like why? Why why can't he choose to like who he like? Maybe he just my Michael Jackson just don't do it for him. And see, here y'all go with this complex of all oh, the world likes likes this, so we got to like it too. The same y'all do the same shit with Beyonce. If you dislike Beyonce, then you 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 out of the ordinary or you wrong because you think Beyonce is overhyped. I ain't even going to talk about that tonight because I don't want to be having my mention. Shouts out to Beyonce. Um, but yeah, I don't think Sam Smith is wrong and I don't think he's trying to be like Michael Jackson. The man simply was just saying that Michael J he, he said... He was on a uh, vacation from his tour or whatever, because he's on tour. Um, and Human Nature by Michael Jackson was playing. And he said, I don't like Michael Jackson, but I like this song. And the internet has been on his ass, and I'm still trying to figure out where was he wrong in saying it. And maybe, maybe I, I don't know if it's the logical side or the practical side coming out of me, but I, I don't get where he's wrong or y'all talking about he's canceled okay like and half of y'all motherfuckers saying he canceled don't buy music anyway and don't support artists but want to say y'all want r&b back like i'm just over y'all trying to cancel people for that for, for how they feel about something that's how he feels now if sam smith would have came out and said michael jackson isn't a legend Michael Jackson isn't one of the greatest entertainers of all time. And I can't wait till he has some interview someone. He shut y'all motherfuckers up and be like, you know what? I do think he's one of the greatest entertainers of all time, but he just doesn't do it for me. You know what I'm saying? Me, honestly, I think I think Michael Jackson is the he's totally the better performer. Definitely so. Um, but I prefer Prince. That's just me and my opinion. I like Prince. Prince does it for me. I don't know if it has to do with something him being more sexual. He was in tune with himself. Um, I, I I don't see where Sam Smith was really wrong. I, I really don't. And, you know, y'all can get in the comments and say whatever y'all want to say. But I just don't see where Sam Smith was wrong. If you don't want to listen to his music for him having his opinion, then that's cool. You know, but as far as y'all saying Sam Smith doesn't have a right to say that because he's trying to be like Michael Jackson. Where? Since when did Sam Smith start dancing? Does he do backflips? I don't even think he hits high notes like Michael Jackson or anything like that. I mean, maybe he might do a little high note every now and again or whatever in his music, but as far as him wanting to be like Michael Jackson... And let's say if he was trying to be like Michael Jackson... Back to my point again. He didn't say Michael Jackson wasn't great. He just said that he didn't like him. He didn't say anything bad about Michael Jackson. Y'all is dragging this man down the internet for having his opinion. Like I don't understand it. And that's probably a lot of entertainers out there that y'all don't even know that they don't like Michael Jackson probably. But they're seasoned in this game and they didn't have social media to say that and they had media training. These new artists don't have media training. They're saying whatever the fuck they want to say, and it is what it is. I mean, I can't be mad at people, you know, 
uh, saying whatever the fuck they want to say. And another thing I want to talk about is y'all dragging Nicki Minaj for having her own opinion too. Like, what's wrong with her for going off on the industry? There's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of artists that wish they could come out and say some shit like that, like Nicki is saying. Is she a little overboard? Maybe so. When everybody has the right to um to their own opinion, but you know, I feel like she's they're trying to foxy brown her out of this this the rap the rap industry. Y'all had this little low IQ Cardi B come out and it's like bye bye Nicki, and it's just like okay. And I've been seeing tweets, oh, I don't like Nicki. And it's like, oh, you, you took time out of your day to tweet about Nicki. Why didn't you tweet about Cardi? Why didn't you tweet about Missy Elliott? Why didn't you tweet about Little Kim or anybody else? And it's like, y'all got to stop being mad. At celebrities are people, too, and they have valid opinions, too. Like, y'all got to stop putting these celebrities on high pedestals. It's not that deep. You know, uh, Sam Smith said he didn't like Michael Jackson. You know, Nicki Minaj coming out and saying that she had they they they. Let me tell you what's going on with 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 the Nicki Minaj situation, cause she's a fire sign, so she being dramatic right now. Um, Nicki basically is saying she's not really shading Travis Scott, but I guess she did give him like a whole of the week or something like that. What happened was Billboard changed the rules. Travis Scott was able to sell his merchandise and stuff like that. And he got his 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 clothing line or whatever he has out was able to go towards his album sales. Nicki had a merchant merch to go towards her album sales. Billboard changed it the week of her album coming out, writing and she didn't get she didn't get that. You would be mad. Okay, let's say like this. You at your job, right? You got this certification. And your job tell you go you go out and you get this certification. And your job tell you, nah, we can't let you use that certification because that's not what we hired you to do. A new bitch coming a new bitch coming come to come to your job. She got the same two certifications that you do. That bitch get. Let's say you might get what? $13, $14 an hour for your position. The new bitch come in, she got two certifications to do the same thing that you that you was trying to do. She come in, she get $18 an hour. You gonna get mad as fuck about it. And that's just what it is. Nikki, that's her art. That's how she feeds her family. You would be mad about that shit too. But, I guess y'all can't relate. I guess I gotta break it down to y'all. That's basically what that's about. She's, she's saying, this is my art. I put out a dope ass album and this motherfucker put out this auto tune album and y'all motherfuckers gonna let him have the number one album when my album was clearly better. And I'm not shading Travis Scott. His music doesn't do it for me. Only thing on I didn't even know who he was until he started dating Kylie Jenner. That's another thing. The only reason why he probably got a number one album is because of Kylie Jenner. Um I don't think he raps. I think he uh, does that Migo shit But y'all gotta stop putting these celebrities On this pedestal They're people too you know what I'm saying And the celebrities that I don't like I don't I don't, I don't don't go under the con I don't go to their page I mute them I block them Cause I don't wanna see nothing about them Somebody tweet something negative about somebody I Down from my timeline I don't wanna see it You comparing Cardi to Nicki Blocked I don't wanna hear about it like who you like you can like who you like without comparing somebody you know what i'm saying it's not that deep and i was having a discussion with one of my friends the other day and he was like do you think it's gotten worse now that you got the stand wars or whatever and i was like i think social media has created this place where you can only like one you can only like one, especially when it comes to female rappers. You're only supposed to like one. Fuck all that. I like Little Kim new nasty one song. I don't know what Kim got going on. This new sound she got going on. If she ain't coming out with, uh, she need to go back. But I did like the nasty one song. I'm a big Nicki fan. I stream Nicki's album. I stream it every day. I love it. I love her album. I think what she does is great. Um, Cardi B, the City Girls. Um, Mariah Lynn, 
Dream Dog, Remy Ma. No. And you know what? I've said this before. The only reason why a lot of y'all really like Cardi B is because y'all feel like y'all can relate to her. Or y'all know her. Because you've seen Cardi B grow. Uh, you We watched her on social media. We watch her go to Love and Hip Hop. So you feel like everybody feel like they've been a part of her success. And Cardi gives you you like pretty much all of her life because she's a new she's a new um she's a new artist. Nikki's not that girl. She's not gonna she's only gonna give you so much of her personal life. So I guess people feel like they don't know her. And when she comes out and she goes on rants, it's kind of like oh my god, like let's bash Nikki. Cardi B go, goes on Insta. I, I scroll down my timeline and I see her. I don't click on it. I don't listen to it. But it says. Cardi B goes on little rant. Cardi B goes off over here, goes off over there. T Cardi B talks about how bad pregnancy was. And I'm like, okay, so this bitch can come in the game and she can go off and go on rants or whatever. And it's cool. But when Nicki does it, it's World War Three. It's the end of the world. If you don't like it, don't tune into it. And then y'all kill me getting under this shit, talking about, oh, yeah, um, I don't like Nicki. Her album was whack. You don't like her, but you took time out of the day to listen to her whole hour-long album when you could have actually listened to streamed somebody you like. You could have went out and started a, a foundation or something, but you, you, y'all are so negative and so bitter. This is one of the reasons why I think I'm going to do a detox from social media for like a month or two. I'm gonna still come ahead and talk to y'all, but. This social media shit, I gotta take a break from it. I got to. I've already deactivated my Facebook. Um, I didn't think it would make a difference, but my friend reached out to me and was like, you know what, I deactivated my Facebook. Um, and he asked me why I did it. People keep asking me why did, I, why did I deactivate my Facebook. And I'm just like, it does nothing for me. I'm tired of seeing this, this negative post about this, them taking shots at them. And I don't know if it has anything to do with my personality. I'm a straight shooter. I don't do that Twitter finger shit. If I got your number uh, and I got an issue with you or I got your address, I'm coming to you. And if I got a problem with you on social media and I don't have your number or your address, I don't know you well enough not to have an uh, uh, a issue with you. But yeah, that's some shit I had to get off my chest. Um, leave these people alone. Leave these people alone. I know everybody got a right to express their, their valid opinion, but focus on something positive. Post something positive on your page. You know, uh, tell that girl on your timeline, you know, that's going through something and she's seeking out for attention. Say, may you have the day you deserve. That's going to blow her mind so bad because she ain't going to know what you're talking about. You know, tell somebody they're beautiful. Tell, Go um to the Salvation Army. And donate some can them canned goods that you're not using. Get out, detoxify your mind from social media. Do something different. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna let social media ruin y'all, ruin y'all mind. Especially my 17 year old brother. I feel so bad for them because they he gonna get caught up in this shit. And it's like y'all gonna be a bunch of motherfuckers over here taking shots on social media. And not even know how to go check on a job application. That's fucking sad. And excuse my language, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just over where I, somebody has to be the example. Somebody definitely has to be the example. I'll be the one to say, you know what? Uh, okay, you say we we can only like one female rapper. Okay, I like one the most, but I still support them all. I'll be the one to say that. Okay, maybe I do favor one the most, but I still support them all. Let's support women. Let's support artists who get out there and perform on the stage. You don't know what that's like. I don't know what that's like. I would like to know. I would love to be a singer or entertainer, but you know, it is what it is. God maybe didn't give me that talent, but he gave somebody else that talent. Whether you like it or not, there's a market for it somewhere, and somebody does like it. So...
Oh, um, what else did I want to talk about? I seen today and it pissed me off where they're not even letting Aretha Franklin get in her grave. They said Aretha Franklin didn't leave behind a will. Like her lawyer came out and said something. And I was like, I don't know. I didn't see nothing. Nobody, I looked for it. I didn't see where the lawyer came out and the person said nothing like that. And I'm like, y'all not even going to let this woman get in the ground. Before y'all start talking about her damn will. That's disrespectful to her damn legacy. And from my understanding, I believe Aretha Franklin has a uh, uh, a special needs son. I'm sure that woman left something behind to that boy or to her family. But to say she didn't leave a will behind it all. Then people was under the comments saying she was selfish and all this kind of stuff. Like... Y'all believe everything y'all read on the internet. I'ma just get to the point where if the if, if the if it didn't come from the, the, the person's mouth, I don't believe it. And on that note, y'all, I'm out of here. Y'all be blessed.